Inventory turnover is a measure of how efficiently a firm manages its inventory. Note that the numerator here is the cost of goods sold instead of revenue. Receivable turnover is a measure of how efficiently a firm manages its receivables. This is measured by the revenue for the period divided by the average receivables. And payables turnover is a measure of how efficiently a firm manages its trade credit. This is measured by the purchases for the period divided by the average payables. Purchases can be calculated as ending inventory minus beginning inventory plus cost of goods sold. Admittedly, these ratios by themselves are hard to interpret. The more common application is to invert them and multiply by 365. This gives us the days of inventory on hand, days of sales outstanding, and number of days of payables respectively. What do all these days mean? To illustrate, let's look at a typical operating cycle of a firm. The cycle starts when inventory is purchased. Very often the company buys the inventory on credit and the actual cash payment is made some time after. The inventory can either be sold to customers before or after the cash payment to suppliers. Again, the customers may also be purchasing on credit and the actual cash payment is made some time later. Once cash payment is received from the customer, the operating cycle ends. The number of days payables is the average number of days the firm takes to pay its suppliers for the inventory purchased. The days of inventory on hand represents the average number of days the inventory sits on the shelf before being sold. And the number of days sales outstanding represents the average number of days customers take to pay after receiving the goods. Now, imagine you're the business owner. What would you prefer? You would likely want to hold more cash for as long as possible. As such, you'll want to delay paying suppliers for as long as possible and collect money from your customers as quickly as possible. This has the effect of shortening the cash conversion cycle, which is a liquidity measure that we shall discuss later. As with most ratios, it's never a simple case of having as long a number of days payable and as short a number of day sales outstanding as possible. An excessively high days payable could indicate trouble making payments on time or exploitation of lenient supplier terms. Conversely, a low number of days payable may not be bad. It could be the result of a company taking advantage of early payment discounts. As such, the desirable figure for number of days payable should be somewhere close to the industry norm. Likewise, an excessively low days of sales outstanding could indicate that the company's credit or collection policies are too stringent. This suggests a loss of competitiveness. On the other hand, a relatively high days of sales outstanding would typically raise questions about the efficiency of the company's credit and collections procedures. As such, the desirable figure for the number of days sales outstanding should be somewhere close to the industry norm. Similarly, days of inventory on hand that is too high might mean that too much capital is tied up in inventory. This could mean that the inventory is obsolete. Conversely, a period that is too low might indicate that the firm has inadequate stock on hand, which could hurt sales. So, what is desirable? You've guessed it, somewhere close to the industry norm. The time between the outlay of cash and the collection of cash is called the cash conversion cycle. A short cash conversion cycle implies that the company only needs to finance its inventory and accounts receivable for a short period of time. A long cash conversion cycle indicates lower liquidity. It implies that the company must finance its inventory and accounts receivable for a longer period of time. This could possibly indicate the need for a higher level of capital to fund the current assets. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At PrepNuggets, let us do the hard work for you.